So on to the last one. Andrew Young for Great Britain. And uh, good to see Andrew Young here. Uh, ranked 21st, had a great start to the season, and of course, a podium in race number three in Toblach when uh, he achieved his lifetime best. So fingers crossed for him. And indeed, his dad, Roy, who is not only his dad, but the head coach of the, the Brits. Theodore Pedersen, tough competitor, ranked 16th, but Pedersen was on the podium here in 2012, in second place behind Emil Jonsson. 24, that's uh, Jovian Hediger wearing the Swiss suit. 23, that's Miyazawa of uh, Japan. He's done really well to uh, qualify. And it would be really good to see uh, a Japanese athlete qualifying for the semi-finals. He's got it all to do here. Fosley, 308.09. He was the fastest of the qualifiers. Well, I'm so pleased to see Andrew Young back. He's had a, a, often a lot of bad luck in his uh, in this season, but uh, good to see him back. And his, his out-and-out -out pace is excellent. He was only 4.3 seconds off the second fastest in qualifying. That's because uh, he, Ulai had about a two-second lead. So uh, Andrew Young wearing 18. Uh, Mike, uh, for those who don't know too much about uh, Andrew, of course, um, home uh, for him, like Andrew Musgrave, is really Norway largely these days. Well, since the, well, since the age of 17, 18, uh, but of course the Huntley Nordic Ski Club is where they were created and a great job there. Well, Stransvall is disqualified because he did carry a yellow into this into this previous heat and he got another yellow. I can't believe they blamed him. Uh, he was being pushed out, I thought, on the corner. Well, it shows that there's no hometown favoritism here. Now, Andrew Young in fourth place. He's not the quickest starter, but he can produce a really good finish, and that's what it's down to at the moment. Matthias Rundgren for Norway in here. Not only uh, Fosley, but Run Green at the moment. The There's the Japanese and the Swiss at the back. They will struggle. Andrew Young needs to just keep moving forward now. I, I like the way Andrew Young is not stressing. He's not getting involved. Nobody, as usual, wants to lead it because of this heavy snowfall making the track slower at the front. But uh, looking great, Andrew Young at the moment in third place. And uh, Andrew's got a great turn of pace when it comes to this climb and his very strong skate too. When he's not over in Norway, of course, he is a member of the Huntley Ski Club. Uh, hello to all of you uh, who are tuned in. I uh, hope you are uh, got your fingers crossed as uh, Andrew comes out onto the right-hand side here. NordicSkiTV at gmail.com. That's where you can find Mike and myself. 13 going through to the front there. Fosley. And uh, now Andrew Young just about in third place, but he can't muck about because the second quarter final was very quick. He's got to actually qualify by right. He's now second for the drop down into the stadium complex. Oh. And this is where the race is really on. It's beautiful. He's done everything right to this point and a very intelligent racing, not wanting to lead, but he could do with being getting in behind Fosley ahead of him. Theodore Pedersen is the real danger behind him because he's got the pedigree and uh, it is Norway, Great Britain and Sweden, the one, two, three, these three are away. Now Andrew has to be very careful because Pedersen is hunting him here. He's got to stay tight on that corner. He can't open the door. And... Uh, here you go towards the line and uh, now Andrew Young being come taken on, on. now he's really got a fight on, for on, this he's got yes. a dig 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 and he oh that I think he's got it he's got it tight I think he's got it uh, he's such well, a strong it's a three athlete photo. it's a three-way photo I think he's safe in second he's so strong often his tempo looks slow but he covers so much ground and I think he's got it he cannot rely on a lucky loser spot Andrew Young it's 314 it's the slowest of all the quarterfinals so Andrew the meeting in the sandwich here, Pedersen on the far side and Fosley on the near side here now it's all going to be down to the lunge of the boots and oh that is so wow. tight do you know I hate to say it but I, oh no it's safe surely that's safe do you think so yep I do and Ooh. Tino Pedersen he's a huge a giant of a man he really reached out yeah I know he did this is, uh, we need to uh, just see this. This is a three-way photograph to decide this. 
and <laughs> come on Andrew he's you've, looking you've on got there. it surely has you've got, got it. it has he not got it yes show me we my time we don't know at the moment yes I think he's done it I think Is he's it done me? it well he doesn't well He's running away, but it's not official. Nothing's through. Fosley, Young, Pedersen, they were virtually in a line, the three. I'm slightly scared of the way that Pedersen just lunged at the end. That was always going to be the potential danger. Well, they're obviously looking at it from every angle. They're taking the time to get an answer. What we result. do know is that uh, Bransdahl and uh, Skor of Norway from the second quarter final are definitely through as the lucky losers. And uh, Fosley's won it. Good. And Andrew Young's Young. got second there by uh, a hundredth. Fantastic. Through to the <laughs> semi final. Less recovery time, but he's through to the semi, and anything is possible from here on in. So, Taylor Pedersen, I'm afraid, will not qualify because the overall time isn't fast enough. And there is confirmation. So. Uh, Relief for all Andrew Young supporters. Terrific to see him through. Next up, the women's semi-finals.